Pneumatic actuators are prime movers, mainly used to operate ball and butterfly valves. They work on the principle of a rack and pinion design. They're extremely reliable, cost-effective and low maintenance, offered in many materials, commonly manufactured from extruded aluminium. The actuator is modular in design and can be built upon to suit your application specification. The main features on a modern pneumatic actuator include visual position indicator, top drillings to VDI VDE 3845 foot plate, an international standard that allows accessories such as switch boxes, sensors and positioners to be fitted directly onto the actuator, ISO 5211 mounting base that conforms to ISO standards 5211 enabling direct mounting between valve and actuator where the valve has the same footprint. This eliminates the need for expensive connecting brackets and drive mechanisms. Gearboxes can also be fitted using this 5211 for manually overriding the actuator. Namur interface, a feature that allows pilot valves, both single or double acting, 32 or 52, to sit directly onto the actuator, irrespective of manufacturer, so long as the pilot valve conforms to this standard, limit or stroke adjustment. Pneumatic actuators are offered in two versions, single acting spring return and double acting. Pilot solenoid valves are commonly used to control the air into the ports on an air actuator. In order to demonstrate the difference in actuators, you will see we have used airlines directly into the ports without the use of a Namur or pilot solenoid valve. Spring return pneumatic actuators require only one airline port to operate the piston actuator. The air is forced into the actuator to open the valve. When the air supply is turned off, springs on both sides of the pistons overcome the internal air, exhausting the air out of the actuator to close the valve. Spring return actuators are mainly used as a safety feature, closing on the instance of air failure. Here we can see one airline being used to operate this spring return actuator. Once air is applied, in this instance, the actuator is forced into an open position, causing the ball valve to open. When the air is removed, the springs overcome the internal air and the valve is closed. The same is applied to this butterfly valve. Air in to open the valve and air off in which the springs force to close the valve. Double acting pneumatic actuators operate similarly to spring return units, only without the springs. Air is supplied to both ports of the actuator, allowing air to both sides of the pistons. Air is forced into the left port, which causes the pistons to move apart, opening the valve and then air is forced into the right port, pushing the pistons together to close the valve. Demonstrated here, this double acting actuator, which has two operating lines, one to open and one to close. Shown on this ball valve, air in one side to open and in the other to close. Air is exhausted after every stroke. and applied again to this butterfly valve. 